Okay, first of all, I don't believe in any of this therapy nonsense. <gasps> the Logans! Oh my God, the Logans! They were the first family I ever lived with, and then they abandoned me years ago, and I haven't been able to trust anybody ever since. Thank you, Doctor. You are a miracle worker. Glock 9mm. Check. Kevlar vest. Check. What you do to yourself before you wreck yourself. Check. Ah! Oh, my God! Dad! Now, hang on, Steve. He's still breathing. Stan, are you trying to kill yourself or thrill yourself? I erased all your music and filled it with ABBA. Don't really care for them, but I did it anyway. There they go. You know what this means, don't you? You bet I do. What? What does it mean, Francie? I... I don't know. Sorry. And now I'd like to read selections from my letter of apology. <clears throat> Without you, I'm a butterfly who can't find the breeze to carry it. God, I thought that was too much, but now that I hear it, it's just right. You know what? Let's call it for today. I thought we were making progress. I know you did. Oh, no, no, you will not be attending this abortion. Ugh, the director's an idiot, the lead can barely speak English, and the second lead is 30 pounds overweight. P.S. I'm the second lead, and I'm starving. I'm writing down a number. I will not accept a penny less. A million dollars? Actually, if you look closely, it says a million doll hairs. No, it doesn't. Oh, well, it was supposed to. Hey, crash the French ambassador's masquerade ball. And it's this Saturday night. See, that's good, Francine. Then it's settled. I think I got it. We start a protest newspaper. Huh? Home run, Conseco. Newspaper it is. Come back to us when you've worked out literally everything. I'll need your phone back. <sighs> Fine. Which one is yours? Oh, you think you're the first family that's put me on its plan? I got phones from the Millers, the Yangs, the Dubonnets. Ah, yes, the Dubonnets. Bon voyage, Haley. Je le blesse à la rappelle à bleu. You did it, Roger. Assistant Regional Distribution Manager for Hot Dog House. On your way back to the top. He's dead. Oh, my God. He said he could hold his breath. I'm sorry. You are fun, Haley. I'm going to kick him. Chris Angel, you freak my mind, you filthy punk. Come see my room. Oh, is that what a shuffle is? I did not realize. Yeah, I took that. What? I was in Haley's room using her toothbrush to scrub the bird poo out of my red wig. What? Oh, God, I'm going to be sick. Can I finish my story, please? You knew? Yeah, we all knew. I didn't know. Our general thinking was that you might overreact. I could ask you the same question. It wouldn't make any sense, but I could do it. Oh, look, they brought my daily turkey. He's right. How are we going to get past Turlington? Hmm. Delicious. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Dance break. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Hey! Oh, don't make me choose. I'm horrible at choosing. Choose! No, don't make me! You must! No, no! Them. <gasps> huh, I'm better at choosing than I thought. That's sweet of you to say, Scotty. Scotty? Ah, that's my nickname for you. I chose it because Scotty is your favorite Star Trek character. What he does isn't glamorous, but he keeps the Enterprise running. Guess my practical joke of sneaking in and trashing the stage last night didn't really bond the cast like I was hoping it would. Be home at 10, and goodbye. Remember, Roger, if you're gonna help me get that inheritance, you're going to have to be me. Got it. Okay, what's my favorite food? Trick question. You have no taste buds. No. What's my first pet's name? Monkey the Golden Retriever. No. My favorite movie. Dude, where's my... No! We're doing this the wrong way. Perhaps I should tell you all this stuff first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Do that. Sorry about my girl, HP. She's on her period. I love it! I'm sorry. I was an idiot, okay? It was a moment of weakness, and it'll never happen again. Can you forgive me? Roger, I think we need some time. Yes. Yes, of course, I understand. Without you? Yes, of course. Charles? Oh, my God. Brad? Jenny? You hurt me. You hurt me bad. You made it impossible for me to have healthy relationships with other families. I need to know. Why did you leave me like that? You rented a room from us and refused to pay. I paid you in laughter! 
We were afraid of you. Jenny, you better shut up right now or I will cut your face. Well, you know what? You missed out. These people, the Smiths, they love me with all my faults. What's going on? Oh, look, it's Tyler, all grown up like a big shot. You turned out cute. Real cute. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing now because I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, boy, these khakis are not getting any looser. Let's go home. <gasps> oh, look, this must be a photo of the sap. Oh, my God. I'm the sap. I'm Sydney. One of my personas has taken on a life of its own. Roger Smith, Sydney Huffman hired me to kill you. Ah! Oh my god, I took a hit out on myself! And I probably charged it to me! Me! Oh! Dumbo! Ah! Ah! PDA. Ooh. Let's use this hot dog as a metaphor. I'm not sure what a metaphor is. Hey! And mine's shaping up Cut to be- ah! <gasps> He's only got one pube! Ah! Hey! No Team, that should do it. All right, seagulls, take me home. Yeah. Stan, dinner. No, no, no. Oh, the truth must be told. No. What's the code to disarm the bomb? I'll never tell. Oh, oh my God! I think you fixed it. Oh. And an alien who's acting like a jealous four-year-old. Four and a half. Look, Stan will be home from the store any second, and I put grenadine on the list. Grenadine turns cold cola into a Roy Rogers. You know what grenadine turns warm cola into? You tell me when I throw it in your face. Yeah! What a great place to shop for birthday presents. Is that, is that a nightstand from the Country Mystique collection? Hold ah! your hands. This is all your fault! We're gonna die out here! It's your fault! You pushed me into this! She bit me. What? You were gonna let me die for eighteen hundred dollars? No. Yes. It's pretty. Wow, Haley, your cheek's pregnant. Who's the father? Touching your face all day with your greasy hands? <laughs> ah! Sorry, Sid. You're a good egg. And that cramps my style. I can't find my dinosaur stickers. Well, you'll have to look for them yourself. AJ has a boo-boo. I have a boo-boo, too. You did that on purpose. You don't have the guts. I can bad cop better than you in my sleep. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you want to go to jail, double stuff? Oh, the boys will love you in there. They won't leave one fat fold unviolated. <laughs> you and me are bestest friends, okay? I'm even going to let you play with my specialist toys, my crystal spider collection. This is my favoritest of all, a daddy long legs. Now, I want you to be very, very careful with... Oh! Put out your hands. I made heavy pants. I said put out your hands. You got real pretty hands, fat boy. <laughs> now I'm gonna make you eat them. God, Roger. All right, all right, you can be bad cop. Thank you. He started it. So you were gonna drown him in the lake? Well, how do you kill babies? Shut up. This whole situation is out of control. Well, all you have to do is say no to your boss. Kill him. What's happening? We're gonna give you what you have coming. Wait, why are you bearing down on me menacingly? I'm Klaus, I tell you. 
Dankeschön, Oktoberfest, German! Bye bye, mein Lieber, Herr Ferrell, mein Lieber, Herr, it was a fine affair, but now it's over. Oh, when we get through with him, he'll be bawling like a baby, sobbing like a poor African woman who just lost all of her kids to a scatter bomb. <gasps> Powerful enough for you? It's from my play. Haven't found the right producer. Doesn't matter. Point is, we're gonna make your dad cry. You idiots! You may have killed my son! There's still time. Now, where did Steve say the hot dog contest was? God, I don't know. He must have told me a thousand times. I know, me too. I totally, I, I just zone out when that kid is speaking. Well, you have to. It's the only way you can get through dinner. Steve, here he comes. Take that, sir! Behold, a grown man weeping like... <laughs> Uh, that? That was your plan? Are you crying? Yes, I'm crying. He hit me with a chair. You, you, uh, you really do make a good crash test dummy. Shut up and drive. How cute is Daniel Day-Lewis? Oh, good. The morphine is finally kicking in. Well, that's our show, folks. If you're interested in learning more about torture, follow an immigrant into your local police station. Good night! I'll tell you how many times that man has made me cry. <laughs> he never supports me. He's a bastard is what he is. This was supposed to be our summer of exotic adventure. <laughs> Charles, we're moving out. I apologize for the lack of drama in this exit. I want something that could actually happen today, in real life. You got one last chance, or you're fired. Okay, we got a brainstorm. Uh, boy meets girl. Boing meets girl. Boing eats... Pass, go to the next one. Wait, what are we doing? She'll be so turned off, she'll come running back to me. The fat one. You're still trying to win back the fat one. Right. We can write a porno, right? We can totally do this. HP's a dunce. Sure, he has a good eye for casting black men, but what does he know about story? Bupkiss. Damn right I'm on. I'm on fire. <laughs> Whoops. Nip slip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Bucko, that's my seat. Not anymore. See, I'm more important than you. I have got some big stuff going on. Big stuff. Now I'm gonna flick your tie. You're titillated, aren't you? But it's the 50s and you don't know what to do with those feelings. Meet me in the bathroom. I'll drill a hole between the stalls. Roger, I've got an idea. Let's go under the bleachers. I don't think a makeout session will help, Steve, but I guess that's what coaches do. How's it going, guys? Where's my sandwich? Coming right up. I just wanted to introduce you to my friend Sandy. She's new here, completely inexperienced, but eager to learn. You might say I'm a virgin at this. <laughs> I didn't order your life story, I ordered a tuna melt. Why is it so hot in here? She told you? No, I was under the table when she told you. Don't ask what I was doing under there. Ask. What were you doing under the- Eavesdropping. Look, we stink. I would say it was my fault, but it was you and your terrible bodies. I'm Amber. Give me waves of grain alcohol and we'll see how purple your majesty gets. What? It's from a song. Okay, porn scenario. Think, Steve. Think, it's not just gonna fall into our laps. Hey, hey, hey! Down here! Hey! We're saved! We're saved! Ira, we're saved! Isn't that great? Ira, get back here! You're the best part of my hair! What, 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 what's going on? Ira's gone. There's a ship! We're saved! Oh, I thought I was your ship. That's okay. See how that boat likes you farting quietly into its deck all day. Yeah, I knew. I didn't say anything because it felt kind of nice. 
He makes me look like you, and you look like you with your shirt off. What? I can't. Oh my god, we're so sorry, guys. The air conditioning broke. We'll fix it right away. If there's anything else you need, anything, just call us. And I mean anything. What's wrong with you? Do you get a dollar every time you say the word anything? <laughs> I got it. Steve, start typing. It's normal. You're curious, like the monkey. Except he was curious about whether the man in the yellow hat would violate him with a banana, which is something to be curious about. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride. Strap me on. Wait, did I say on? I, I, I meant strap me in. You know what? Either way. <laughs> I don't understand. It should have worked. I learned that move from a chiropractor in his van in the alley behind the 7-Eleven. Oh, boy, I think I raped a guy. A DeLorean? Are you running coke? No! I get it. We'll talk later. I'm good for half a key. Scams make me so horny. You can't touch yourself? How do you... Well, we might be able to work something out if you're willing to do something for me. You girls head up to the room. I don't want you to have to see this. That won't be necessary. Oh. My fanny is so high in the air right now. Yeah, I've stuck my fingers in there. <coughs> Guess I'll go get some new popcorn. What is it? Don't stop. A little more. Uh, almost there. Uh, right in my face. Great. Now it's going to be freezing in here. Freezing in here. Freezing in here. Uh. It's okay. We'll leave our underwear on. <laughs> Honey, not in front of the detective. Okay, we'll go. And this time, Haley, we'll prove who's more of a woman. Roger, did you draw that on? Yes. Aroused? Uh... Well, it's not for you! Get in your suitcase and don't come out till you hear me say, I'm done, go clean up, you disgust me. I don't know. Maybe this business has changed too much. Did you know I read that they bleach buttholes now, Stephen? Are they trying to say God chose the wrong color? I envy you, Haley. Never having to worry about things like pantyhose or contraception. Ugh. No babies for me. Reminds me of my sorority. We were known as the Pretty House. Then crystal meth got its hooks into us. Fortunately, I was just selling it. The girls all got hepatitis. I bought a Jaguar. It's in Canada right now. That's why I rode my bike over here. Exterior, manor house. As the pizza delivery man emerges from his carriage and rings the doorbell. The robot butler answers the door. Love it. Still waiting on that tuna melt, sweetheart. My memory chip does not register ordering a pizza. Prank sensor activated. That's dialogue. You just pitched dialogue. You were his emergency contact. We didn't know what else to do. What happened to him? Well, take a look at this security video. He arrives with this family at 9 a.m. Churros, elephant ears, the whole nine yards. By 11 a.m., he was in line for the flume, which he rode 16 times, all with different families. Uh, two hours later, he's puss in boots with yet another family, eating a caramel apple, watching an animatronic bear play the fiddle. As the day progressed, he was with nine more families in nine more outfits, the rights to which I doubt he owns. Uh, until we found him like this, gurgling, slumped over a teacup, and urinating on a pinwheel. I went on a family bender. I have a problem. <laughs> Help me. As you can see, I've fashioned a disguise out of seagull feathers for when we're rescued. I'm feeling optimistic. So Ira and I, this is Ira, we're gonna collect some driftwood for a signal fire. Because we're optimistic, Ira and I. Now, if you will excuse me, I am late for my daughter's arranged wedding. She will learn to love him. Ethics he wants to talk about. <laughs> Jewish history is a history of unethical conduct. First, the Pharisees killed Jesus Christ, the only true son of God. Oh, boy. And isn't it true that the Jews put a secret sauce on their Rubens that is actually just Thousand Island? And who shot Gianni Versace? Was it a Jew? I don't know. It was in Miami. 
All right, enough of this, Michigas. Do you have time for a complicated scheme that'll solve all your problems? Roger, this is no time to sell me on Christianity. <laughs> and tomorrow, Sydney, I'll destroy the last most irreplaceable thing in your life. Your possessions! <laughs> I think we really sold that crash landing. Oh, were you doing crash landing? I was doing found out my son is gay. Are you okay? I, I, I think so. Wait, wait, where are my sunglasses? Look for them, damn you, look for them! Oh, thank God. No! Death Wish style. Death Wish was a movie starring Charles Bronson. He had a mustache. It does now. Listen, Roger. It's Rogers. Roy Rogers McFreely. And I hate to waste a good spotlight. <clears throat> you see a lot, Dr. Lecter. But are you strong enough to point that high-powered perception at yourself? How about it? Look at yourself and write down the truth. Or maybe you're afraid to. Well, that was good. Serve Steve right, stealing my thunder. Still, I can't believe everyone forgot my birthday. Not everyone. Yeah, you. Happy birthday, Roger. Make a wish. It already came true. I regret my dance card is filled for the evening, but there's always the spring cotillion. They're not smiling back at me because they think you're my husband. I'll tell you what I think. I think you hide behind all these disguises so you don't have to face the fact that the real you is an inconsiderate jerk. Sir, your card was declined because you exceeded your credit limit. That's impossible! Well, you did just make a big purchase. I see a diamond ring for $5,000. What? That's right. It was purchased by a co-signer on your account, uh, Sidney Huffman. Co-signer? I never authorized a co-signer. Sir. I can't have you lying on the floor and making phone calls. That credit was generated after your last statement. It'll show up on your next bill. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for choosing AT&T. Enough! Excuse me, I'm gonna take your free game. I'm that important. I got some big stuff going on. Now watch me play. I suck, but I do my own sound effects. Dran, dran. It's ringing. Dran, dran. <gasps> Bonjour, Monsieur Dubonnet. Pour moi? Maintenant? Hello. J'ai besoin du shampoo avec les moutardes, les oeufs et les baguettes. Limonade? Limonade? Du, du limonade. Stop that! Stroke! Stroke! You know, after this, I could rent myself out to Cubans. Those poor people. I'll take that money up front, don't you worry. Dije esta no es mi barca. <laughs> McFreely! Let me in, you sons of bitches! I'll kill all your families! Good news, I've trapped the Mexicans in the house. Ah, Chinatown. Where you could tell me it was Japantown or Koreatown, and I'd nod and smile. No, cut it out, Roger. Tonight was a bust. We were the only ones in period costumes, and your gibberish got me punched in the boob. There's nothing here. No wiener, no wedge, just feathers and chicken skin. This summer is an exotic. It sucks! Where's my beer? Sing Tao, chilled glass? I know you can hear me, old man! World's worst waiter right here. Now get over here and help me finish this. Don't Portuguese out on me. I'm starting a new ethnic slur. Did it take? Ah, uh, sorry I'm late, gang. Play rehearsal went long. We just found out Raisin in the Sun has an all-black cast, so we're sort of scrambling. I had to swing by Home Depot for a bag of charcoal. I'll send for my things. Four Guatemalans will be here Thursday morning at 7 with boxes and packing tape. Under no circumstances are you to feed them or tip them. If the job is done well, they will each be rewarded with a large fries. I assure you, there are two things I know. How to poison a Haitian and sex. Mm. 
El perro, el perro es mi corazón El gato, el gato, el gato no es bueno Cilantro es cantante, cilantro es muy famoso Cilantro es el hombre con el queso del diablo Damn, hombre, you can dance. Roger, what's this? <laughs> Crawfish cookies. Need this? Uh, yes. Oh, my God, his allergy. Roger, give him the shot. Not so fast, Francine. I am the decider, and I will decide. Roger! And I decide give him the shot. It's empty. But I only used it once. I was super hungover, and I wanted an adrenaline rush. It felt <laughs> amazing. I've been secretly competing with both of you for years. What put me over the top this time? I put fruit and sugar in my pie instead of soggy napkins and gerbil meat. I also made a sizable contribution to Mayor Woodside's mouth. Tying together rocks. Smart. Outside the box. Looks like they're going camping. Yeah, I know. So? Sometimes I like to know what else is happening. Whoa, sorry, Malibu Melinda. Look at her pooping with the door open. Disgusting. She has let herself go. She hasn't washed her feet in months, wears nothing but sweatpants. Can't take it anymore. See that tiny suitcase by the bed? That's mine. I packed it months ago, but I can't bring myself to walk out that door. Because I haven't had a chance to go to the store yet, honey. Game on, bitch. Hey! You said a swear. You, oh, wait, you're real? <gasps> Roger! Well, yeah, who did you... What? Well, anyway, you'll never stop me! Hot dogs, huh? I like hot dogs. Maybe I'll get some sort of hot dog-related job. Oh, you mean like making hot dogs or selling hot dogs? I don't know, Francine. I just had the idea. Will you let me think for just one moment? God, I come up with good ideas and you needle me with questions. Probably something supervisory in the distribution department. Oh, well, there you go. I knew I'd think of it if you gave me a moment. Oh, Steven, I see you got the flyer. Did you get the $5 off? The offer was only valid before six. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's what Jerry Lewis said right before he stole my idea. You knew Jerry Lewis? Yeah, back in the 50s, I was his tailor. I shortened his pants, made him a star. One day I said to him, Jer, I called him Jer, but not to his face. I said, Jerry, how about you do a long televised plea for money? Down the gauntlet has been laid. Lane? Laid. I will make up for what I have done if it takes the rest of my life. Oh, oh, still wet, still wet. You don't have toenails. Hello, I'm Roger. I like to pretend. Come on! <laughs> wow, well, really thought we were gearing up for a much more satisfying chase. But this... Yes, you got a nice little package. <laughs> and, and you also got something in the mail. I've got havoc to wreak. Wreck? Wreak. Ah! Drown, spaceman, drown! Shut up, Ira! So you float, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it appears so. The bomb is disarmed! <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say when I disarm the bomb. Roger! The arm is disbombed. Damn it. Just, just, ew. Did we just find another case? Are you kidding me? This is gruesome. This is like a cable crime. We're network. Yeah, no one dies on our show. Right. Let's face it, on our darkest day, we're Scooby-Doo. Maybe Quincy. Maybe Quincy. Hey, check out my new do. I have been working on this one thing, but we need a magician. Is there a magician on this team? Hike! What are you talking about? I think this symbol says it best. Ghostbusters 2? What? Ugh, I gotta stop smoking salvia before I go to the body painting place. I ain't fading, no ghosts. I'm leaking. Terrific. I'm, I'm leaking something. This is going to be a great splooge month with me leaking and splooge coming out of me. Fantastic. Ah, not this bit. I'm Jack Tripper over here. Okay, all right, I'm up. Now, now, now what is this? What, what is your thing with the crying? Anytime I want, I could let out some bad wieners. See, Stan? I'm the decider again. Oh, yeah? Oh, where, where do you keep these alleged death dogs? Well, they're not here. They're someplace safe. Someplace you'll never guess. The last place you would ever think to look. 
No, 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 don't look in the fridge. They're not in there. I just had my colors done, and Lydia tells me I'm an autumn. Roger, I've been standing with you here the whole time. You haven't talked to anybody, and you're putting lipstick on your eyelids. You're just jealous. You know, if you fixed yourself up a little, men would find you attractive, too. Instead of wondering if you're in the middle of gender reassignment surgery. Eh? 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 Stop that! A wisecrack. I'm cracking wise. Roger, are you still leaking that splooge? Oh, God, with all the fluid coming out of my armpits, I feel like Betty Davis on her wedding night. You don't know enough about Betty Davis. Roger, I know you're in there. Come out or your girlfriend gets it. Okay. The radio station only gave me two passes. Roger! Are you kidding me? Then why did you invite both of us? Gee, I don't know, Haley. You think it might have something to do with me being drunk all the time? I'm an alcoholic. I have a problem. I'm just not ready to deal with it yet. But I will. I promise. No more empty promises. No, sir. Not from this alcoholic. Now hop in the suitcase and first round's on me. <sighs> oh. I thought you were going to say something funny. No. Not everything is funny, Roger. Sometimes you just have to get information out. Help you boys get loaded. <gasps> You're the guy who buys booze for kids? Sure, it's a great way to make money. That's how I bought my boom box, that's how I bought my dog Pepper, and that's how I bought this folding chair that turns into a backpack. I put it on and I'm completely mobile. Great! We'd like liquor, please. All right, be right back. If some little girl with a bruise on her cheek comes by and says this is her dog, it is. Pepper is stolen. This is what he did to you, and you're gonna let him get away with it? What else is there to do? I'll tell you. Oh my god, my pipe organ, yay! This is what I'm supposed to play maniacally down in the catacombs? Oh, what'd you think you were getting for $39.95? No, no, this is totally unacceptable. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I can work with this. This thong gives me an ass rash, but the boys love it. Damn it. Damn thong. I really should not be shaking anyone's hand. Oh, there he is. What the hell? Do not fear me, fair maiden. Though my outward appearance may repulse thee, I assure you my intentions are most pure. What are you doing? The Phantom welcomes you to his home. Jeez, it stinks in here. Why am I in a dress? I'll thank you to hold your criticism, my darling. Ah, the hell with this. Steve! Steve, come back here! I am trying to do something! Mom, we have to go. How often does Roger win free passes to a first-class spa? Oh, once isn't enough? No, Roger, I meant it as a good thing. Well, that's not how it sounded. Y you have a way about you, Haley, that just... Yeah, turns me off. Good job, Haley! Uh, stop! I got a sheet of acid in my pocket! Not until you resign from the association. Not until I get a say at home. I want to be heard. Dad, you know how you felt when you had no say in the neighborhood? That's how Roger feels at home all the time. If I give you a say, you promise you'll resign? Yes, yes, I promise. Well, Stan, I guess it makes no difference now. It was me, Roger, the whole time. Refill. I'm sorry, we don't give refills. Oh, I see, you don't know who I am. I can't talk about it, but I have got some big stuff going on. Now fill it up! That's right, I'm important. Man, caffeine doesn't affect me at all. I can do anything! Oh, I stopped listening. If you're not going to make the effort to be entertaining, I'm not going to go the extra mile to listen. <laughs> the, the extra mile. Like, it's so hard to just listen to somebody. <gasps> Sydney! Oh, yeah, you should know I'm a drunk. Just like my father. And I have no genitals. That's okay. I have both. Bravo, Aiden! Looks like everyone's having a fun time. Are you a kid? That'll do, Aiden! What, 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 what did you wait, a whole six years for a bouncy castle? Yeah, try 1600. This should have been my party. Mom! Your mama's dead, boy. I killed her. 
No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I, I just, I went too far. That wasn't cool. This is Steve's fault. He ruined my birthday, and I'm gonna make him pay. All right, I'm gonna go get my face painted and then get the hell out of here. Got my revenge. That's great, honey. Well, it was nice of Steve to acknowledge us this week, even if it was only this once. What, what, what's, what's going on? Roger, we have to talk. This family has a problem. Oh, finally, we can get this all out in the open. I'll start. Klaus, you're useless and everyone hates you. <gasps> A case of whiskey and a modern bride, my good man. I'm a woman. I don't want to fight. Just run the card, dude. Are these balloons full of heroin? Those Ow! are not for you! I'm the baby! I'm the drunk baby! I'm assuming you guys are the smart kind of geeks? 50-50. Mm, 50 plus 50 equals 100. And that's what we're gonna do. 100 shots of beer. I got 10 more to go. Stan? Am I drunk? I mean, I mean, I'm definitely drunk, but is that regular size? Oh my god! Pig party? Where, where, where guys find the ugliest dates they can? Bam! 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 Bam? Oh my god. I'm a pig. <laughs> Thank you. I... <laughs> You go. I'm just gonna stare at the lake and think about how I almost killed a baby. Wow, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. And I guess all I can say is, EAT MY DUST! He's getting away! Stop him! For God's sake, Roger, get up! <laughs> my tequila! That worm had a name! Club rubber just let out. Everybody's still rolling pretty hard, and I'm selling water. Want to hand out pacifiers? How high are you right now, HP? I'm up there. <laughs> uh, what was that? Roger? <coughs> uh, oh, uh, uh, can a guy sleep one off? Late checkout, late checkout. No, nope. I'm having fun already. I am on a lot of prescription pills, though. Ooh, is that a story? No. It's an addiction. Am I, am I making that smell? I am. That smell is me. I am making it, and I'm disgusting. <laughs> Wonder whose car that was. All right, who do we got? 